Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today we have an exciting tutorial for all the programmers or anyone who is willing to upscale. So in this tutorial, we are going to deep dive into the world of Veeam, a powerful and efficient text editor. So if you are ready to level up your coding game, let's get started. Before we start, let's briefly talk about what Veeam is. Veeam stands for VI Improved and it is a text editor that comes pre-installed on most of the Unix or Linux based system. It is known for its speed, versatility and its minimal design. Trust me, once you get the hang of it, you will navigating and editing the text like a pro. Now we will make a file using Veeam. So to make a file using Veeam, write Veeam and after that name of the file. So we will creating a file with name hello.txt and after that you have to press enter key and here in the veeam there are two modes of veeam one is insert mode and one is command mode by default when you open a veeam file it is in the command mode and if you want to write anything inside this file you have to press i button or insert button on your keyboard so i am pressing the i button now and now you can see here on the bottom that insert is uh, appearing so you can now edit any text inside this so i will add some lines inside uh, this stream so here we have added some lines inside our vim so by using the insert mode you can edit your text inside this vim tool so to now to save this file you have to go to command mode and to go to command mode, you have to press the escape button. And now you can see that here insert is disappeared. Okay. And to save this file, you have to press colon. So you can see that here colon is appeared. And after that WQ, write and quit. WQ stands for write and quit. And after that, you have to press enter. And now your file is saved. Okay. If you open this file again, vim hello.txt. You can see that your all the works that you have done previously are saved in this file. For navigating up, down, left or right inside a Veeam file, you have to follow some keys. So these keys are for left navigation, you can use L key word or the left arrow. For the right navigation, you can use H or the right arrow button. For the up, you can use K and up arrow and for the down, you can use J or the down arrow so now we will see how navigation works inside our vim file so if we if i press j so it will not move anywhere if i press k you can see that our cursor moves one point up again k one point up again k one line up and if i want to move left i have to press l but i i am at the end of the file i cannot move further so to move the right, you have to press H. Okay. So by pressing H, you can move right. And by pressing left, you can move to the left. Now let's say you have to move three lines down. So in the Veeam, we can associate numbers with the navigation button. So if I have to move three lines down from the first line, I will press 3J. And you can see that my cursor comes from the first line to the fourth line because it is moving three lines downward one two and three and now let's say i have to move 10 letters to the left so i will press 10 and after that i will press l so from here my cursor moved to here so by using these shortcut methods you can navigate to the files easier now we will see how to delete a single character a single word or line in the Veeam very fast. So when you are in the command mode and uh, if you want to delete a single character, you have to only press X. So if I press X here, you can see that a single character is being deleted. You can also press the delete button. So instead of X, you can press the delete button of your keyboard. Okay. So by pressing these two keywords, you can delete a single character from your Veeam. Now to delete a word, let's say I want to delete Linux from here. So I I will navigate to the 
this word and I will press D W. Okay, so if you press D W, then your word will be deleted. So uh, the best practice is that first you go to the starting point of your word and then you have to press D W. And you can see that our Linux is gone. And to undo this, you can press U. So by pressing U, you can undo the any operation you have to done. And now to delete a line, let's say I don't want this uh, third line. Okay. Now to delete a line in Veeam, you have to use DD command. That means if you press two times D, then a line will be deleted. Here I am pressing DD and you can see that our three lines are deleted and to undo these operations you have to press U I, will, I have pressed U and my uh, delete line reappears if I press U again uh, again it is doing undo and if I press U again it is doing undo so in this part you have understood how to delete a single word so in this part you have understood how to delete a single character by pressing X you can delete a single word by pressing DW and to delete uh, the entire line you have to press DD so the deletion parse is completed now let's say if you want to search any word inside the file so you have to press forward slash to search forward that means if your cursor is here and if you want to search down this so you have to press the forward slash button and after that insert the key whatever you want to find so let's say uh, we want to find linux okay so if i type the linux you can see that here cursor is coming and now let's say if uh, if you want to search in the backward direction that means your cursor is here press question mark and after that the key so let's say we want to search for data and you can see that the data is highlighted so forward slash is used to search forward and question mark is used to search for backward. Now we will see how search and replace works in the Veeam. So let's say we want to replace this word L-I-N-U-X with its a small case or any other word. So to re find and replace you have to press colon S after that forward slash that means search for word and I am searching Linux and replace it with Linux dash one or anything you want and after that slash G so this will replace the word in which your cursor is present so this will only replace the first line Linux okay so the, the our Linux is get replaced by Linux dash one and now if you want to replace all the occurrences of Linux in the file so you have to do colon and instead of s you have to type percent s and then find the Linux and replace it with anything you want Linux dash vim and slash g and if you press enter you can see that all the three occurrences of capital linux is replaced with linux dash vim so hope you have understood the basics of vim how we can create file in the vim how we can uh, insert text and save the file and after that you you have understood how to navigate how to delete and at last we have seen how we will search and replace the words in the Veeam. So it's a very basic tutorial for Veeam. If you want to get deep dive into the Veeam for more advanced concepts, you can see the official documentation of the Veeam, which I will put in the description box. So hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We will meet in the next video. So take care. Bye bye.